guys welcome back to the channel this is your girl sin and this is life with sin and in today's video we have a collective haul um i'm going to be doing a collective haul we have pieces from burlington coat factory walmart h&m target um amazon and um I think to name a few places that I picked up some stuff. We have some shoes below that um, I got pairs of shoes from New York and Company that I wore for the very first time. But there are shoes that I want to show you. So in this haul, we're really in focusing on me building a spring, summer, like transitional wardrobe from fall and winter of 2024. And so I recently went around and started like looking through my closet and trying to decide what I want to add or take away from my closet, what I want to donate, what I don't, I'm not interested in anymore, what I'm not liking. And I came up with um, things that are on trend as well. If you can see, there's a lot of blue, there's a lot of denim on this rack, but hear me out denim is not going anywhere i've been watching some of the you know going on pinterest looking at some of the fashion shows and i'm trying to get my hands on a piece of mixed fabric denim so where part of the outfit has denim and then it has another fabric whether it's pleather leather or whatever and so i'm on the hunt for that so stay tuned to see if i find those mixed fabrics because i saw someone did a jacket on tiktok and she showed the jacket and it was a, a burgundy leather with some dark gray um, denim stitch into it absolutely gorgeous and I was like that's up my alley now you guys know I'm not a fashionista I'm not a fashionista I'm not that fashion girly however I love style and I love fashion I love my own personal style and I feel like I'm evolving and so this year I stepped out a bit of my comfort zone so that I can actually try some new things so we're gonna jump in and we're gonna get into the um outfits so first and foremost we're going to come closer so i can show you guys these pieces up close and personal so like i said this is a collective haul so we're going to start from this side and go but first let's start with the accessories i've had this hat now and i have a tan one as well i picked up this fedora about maybe a year and a half or two years ago from Walmart. They were on sale for like maybe five or six bucks. This is by the Walmart brand Time and True. And it gave me the idea to actually wear the fedoras. So let's take off our headband because we're about to get into these. What do you guys think? I want to do my hauls a, diff a different way, so <laughs> bear with me. Um, so yeah, this is the fedora. Now the it has, and I'll bring it close for you to see, it's a little linty dust. I'm going to dust it off with the lint brush, but she is gorgeous. Love her. Can't wait to wear her. I have a tan one. If I could find a tan one, it's probably stuck in a box somewhere, but if I could find a tan one. So if you're interested in getting hats for the the season definitely check out the fedoras i then went to walmart and so yesterday and i picked up this one a gray fedora and it was actually on sale for 11 dollars isn't she cute she is super cute she can transition yeah she she's given She's given, she's given a vibe. She's given a vibe. Love her. So yeah, I am not, I was never a hat person, but definitely the fedora. Get into the fedoras. We're going to switch gears and I picked up this pocketbook from TJ Maxx and I got it for $29.99. I do not have any kind of white pocketbooks, but I will show you how I could style this. And this, especially this structure, it has this um, black and white fabric on the straps. And I just feel like it will go well like this, you know, like casual going out. 
you know you're going out to like maybe brunch or you're going shit running errands this would be the perfect bag for the summer spring summer transition so yes i picked this up from tj maxx it was a good find switch gears to the shoes that i picked up you've seen some of these before well you've seen this one before but i picked these up at walmart i call them the aladdin <laughs> slippers um i got these for 13 bucks they were on sale they were actually 17.99 i've already worn them already they feel comfortable really great my feet sweat in the summertime a lot but i feel like once i put the little sticky thing in there to absorb it it probably won't be bad for me to wear this but i'm getting used of it because it's not cold or it's not too cold and it's not too hot so it's that in between weather that we're having here in tennessee so i feel like these are perfect for now when i want to run errands or something like that i can easily run and put these on now tj maxx usually put out their items you know their new little items and so we ran when i got the bag i saw these uh, they have them in green as well these are little loafers like like converse but you know um it's called blowfish malibu is the brand um and i got them for 20 dollars. they are a size seven i had to go up in a size seven i usually wear a six or a six and a half depend on the the make of the shoe and the material and I feel like because this doesn't have like really great stretch, I decided to go up in a seven because I could wear the little socks as well in them. So yeah, so these are the Walmart, no, TJ Maxx, 20 bucks. And I like these because these are casual. I can go like wear a denim pants and like cuff it at the bottom and then wear these to go with it. Nice t-shirt head out to the store run errands so yeah so that's where i'm doing i'm doing my casual side and then you know upscale it just a little bit so these is what i picked up recently i showed these in a haul when we were in the hotel stay and these are thigh over the yeah these are thigh high boots i wore them for the very first time yesterday i'm trying to get back into heels and these are these would be considered kitten heels and i'm okay with kitten heels because i'm an older lady my back will not forgive me if i wear t higher heels and the support with sciatica it's enough so kitten heels feel comfortable i want to feel dressed up so these this give me just enough height and style to go with it so we'll pair this with one of the outfits today and we'll just see how it goes so that's what I got so that's the reason why that is a part of the accessory I picked it up months ago like you know late last year but I want I wore it for the very first time yesterday so now let's get into the pieces over here we're gonna start from the back and go forward because they are the north these are the newer pieces and these are pieces that I had in my closet picked up over the last two months and I didn't get chance to kind of like move around with them so first let's start with this piece i have this piece right here it is a um vest a long vest and it has a tie to it and i have a similar one i have one in pink but i don't know how to style it so today we're gonna style this and then we could see if it's something that i could you know bring out the wardrobe because I want to casual it up and I don't want it to look like work attire so I was thinking a nice denim jeans and a t-shirt a white t-shirt inside of it and then tie it and see how it looks so I got this from um Burlington Coat Factory it is by Max Studio is the brand I got it in an extra large at the time and I think it's still fit good because I've tried it on recently and I got it for like 16 bucks or 14 dollars from Burlington Coat Factory this jacket we're staying in the jacket this has shoulder pads this jacket is one of my favorites I picked this up from Nordstrom Rack a while back and it is by Avec Le Filets. I think that's how you say it. It's a size large and it has this tapered look to it. 
Um, this was like, I believe $39.99 or something like that. Sometimes you will find this brand in Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but I actually found this at Nordstrom Rack and so love the color, the wine color, the deep wine. This will get used even though, you know, we're coming into spring. I feel like this will be really perfect for me to transition with some denim. Um, when outside it's like a, still a little chilly, I can easily wear this. I'm going to turn it around and show you at the back. Um, I will pop some pictures up so you guys can see how I had styled this one. But this is a favorite and so this will be coming out and be worn. Amazon and I said, let me look for faux leather blazers right I wanted a green one that was the goal and then I found the brown so here they are I got these from Amazon for like $36 here is the green one we're gonna look at the green love this green this is the green that really speaks to me I, I, I've worn this one already around the holiday time it was really nice outside it has um, pockets at the side right here it comes with um two buttons really good it's a faux pleather but it's really cute and i feel like it can get some usage out of it for the spring as well because it's a vibrant color and i can bring it out and wear it so i got this from amazon this was um, i believe 36 dollars links for the things that i could find will be in the description box below keep in mind i am an amazon affiliate um, person so the if you purchase any of the Amazon products from the links below I will get a portion of that commission um, so yeah definitely check it out but this is this is a must-to-have it wasn't the chocolate that I wanted but it it will do I actually still like the brown one the color is nice and I don't have anything oops I don't have anything to that that looks like this. It has the same pockets at the side, the two buttons. So the next thing on here is, I picked up some pieces at H&M. I went to H&M yesterday, looking around to see what they had. They didn't really have a whole lot on sale, which was okay because I've already bought a few things from H&M a while back, did a haul, don't even remember if I showed the haul. But anywho, this is on their website on sale for 31 bucks. Here's the problem. It's sold out yep it is sold out on the website so when I went in the store yesterday H&M does not match the price on their website like Walmart and Target does and so that kind of throw me off so I ended up having to purchase this at full price which was $41.99 oh it's okay it's $41 it's, you know and I had a coupon a rewards from the H&M rewards Remember, so I ended up still getting it on sale or a few bucks taken off from it because the girl was like, oh, yeah, we don't match the price. And I was like, OK, that's fine. Um, I got it in a large. I wanted it oversized and it was the large, the last large. They didn't have any mediums. They had two smalls and an extra small. I love the detail of it. I love the structure of it. I am a structured girl. I realize that like when I pick up certain things, I'm looking at my style. I like military structured stuff. And so this, love the color, the denim, let me bring it closer. The denim color on this thing is gorgeous. And I'm glad I got it in a large because I can wear my sweaters under there, my heavy sweaters, throw this on and still don't have to wear like an oversized coat. So this, this is a, this is a must. Um, they have a, a different, uh, fabric, but the denim was what caught my eye. And so that's something that I was like, okay, this is going to be perfect. It has two pockets at the side, one pocket here, one pocket there. Those are the amount of pockets. The sleeves have this, um, look to it yeah with the button so it's giving zara ish look so this sweater is a paris france sweater i got it oversized for a reason because i want to be able to like style it 
in a way roll the sleeves up I saw the sleeves was rolled up the girls did it now this was $20 this was $19.99 and it's just a regular sweater but I love the feel of it it has like this flesh like this not flesh but like soft material on the inside texture is something that I just yeah texture is just not for me but this is this is the sweater I have an idea of either wearing it by itself or wearing it with a um, collared shirt inside and rocking it with a skirt or shorts or um, denim it can be worn multiple ways and I think as I'm looking at adding color to my wardrobe and sticking with the blue theme, denim, whatever, I think this one caught my eye, the color caught my eye, the detail on the front caught my eye, and then the cuff sleeves. I was like, oh, that's a good idea. I can roll it up and still be casual and comfy. Then I went around to get, um, the, you know, just looking around. I got this dress for... $6.99 originally it was um, $26.99 and it was in the sales rack and it is a white dress I do not have any kind of dress like this that's white to go out like at date night so it caught my eye and I was like oh this would be perfect for date night put on a nice shapewear and um, yeah so yep $6.99 and I thought it was good. I got it in an extra large because I wasn't sure how it would fit. But I think it it's okay to have it in the extra large. Um, put my shapewear on and kind of maneuver it. But yeah, white, not a big fan of white. But we gonna wear her. Now last but not least, last but not least from H&M, I picked up a denim pants. I do want to get away from all of my denim being distressed denim. And so, like, when I go in the office, I usually dress up in slacks because most of my denim isn't really, like, office ready, right? You can't wear distressed denim to the <laughs> corporate office. So, I went into H&M and I was looking around and I was like, oh, if I could find, like, maybe some good fitted pants from good fitted denim without distress on them, I'll get one. So, I did pick one up. I haven't tried it on. It's a size 12. And I'm hoping that it fits. It's wide leg. The color, I don't know if you guys have that same feeling, but certain types of color denim doesn't look good on me. It makes me look weird. Um, I find like darker denim really looks great on me. I'm slowly coming into like lighter denim, but I have to be very strategic on the type of denim that is lighter that will look good on me. So I always stick to these. So yeah, so this is a size 12. Um... This was an expensive. This was $29.99. Um, and like I said, it's a little wide leg. Not too much. It has a little bit of stretch in it. Hopefully when I put some shapewear. So it's called Wide High Waisted. And this is what I was looking for. Um, it's perfect because I want to pull it up. And then I can wear like a nice crop top. Because I've been starting to get into crop tops. So yeah. It has two nice structured pockets at the back. I always like it when it has that little change pocket in there. But yeah, I think this is a pretty nice um, pants. So I will be going through my wardrobe looking at the denim that I do have that is distressed. And maybe get like maybe one or two more of the ones that aren't distressed that I can wear denim when I go to the office. Now let's move into what I picked up from Target. I don't have a lot of things from Target. I think I only have one piece from Target because lately Target stuff hasn't really been catching my eye. But when I walked in there, because I went looking for jeans, like I said, no distress and didn't really find what I wanted. But this, you guys, if you watch the vlog, you've seen me kind of in it, but not really. This, it is very, very long. But it is a jacket from Target for, it's by the Universal Threads. I got it in a medium. And look at the back. I love this. This caught my eye. I forgot what this is called, this style is called. But it's like a trench coat, but denim. <laughs> and um, it has the tie and it also has, let me undo the tie. I'll pop the picture up. 
so you guys could see it has the uh, room for the buttons you could button it this way or you can button it this way so it's versatile love 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 it worn it it's a month it will be getting worn a lot this season so it's $44 I hope you guys could find it because it was kind of the last one <laughs> when I went in there in my target it was the last one it does come with pockets and like the H&M jam jacket it has that nice structured pocket, which is what caught my eyes. The details on the on the fabric and the print and the cut is what really caught my attention. And so, was it worth the $44? Absolutely, yes. So that's what I picked up from Target. Now, Walmart. Um, we have a few things from Walmart. We're gonna start with this one. Um, I bought two of these. I bought this color and a grayish color. I'll pop the grayish one because it's in the wash, I believe. These are crop distress little jackets. Um, I already wore the gray one. It was $16.98. Yeah, $16.98 from Walmart. And the brand is, um, what's the brand? It's this new brand called um, Investing in Better Cotton. So this is what it is these are so cute these are so freaking cute you can wear this as this by itself as a regular shirt or you could use it as a jacket i use the gray one as a jacket with my um skirt and you'll see me pop a picture up in here pick these up from walmart um if i could find the link for it at walmart.com i'll put it in the description below because i was trying to find it for my lemon eight um ch uh, channel but I couldn't find it at the time, so I'll go back and look at it. And I got both of them in a large. Um, um, Walmart was these no boundary jeans. The no boundaries, wide leg or mom jeans, no distress or maybe a little distress, those fit me perfectly. So when I saw this, I was like, oh yeah, I can definitely rock it. So this is, this is called, um... What is it? The, it's a skinny fit. So this is how it's supposed to be on the model. I picked it up in a size 15 because they didn't have um, another one. And I feel like I could still get away with the 15 and pull about to kind of cinch the, the waist in. I really wanted the jeans, so I went with the, the size 15, which is, I don't know what a size 15 would be in regular, like maybe 10, 12-ish around that way. I don't know. But um, yeah, these are no boundaries. Cotton, and it has stretch. And what caught my eye was the two, the way the pockets in the front looked. I like the pocket, so it's double, it's not double, but it just the way the, like I said, how the cut is and how the, the fabric looks is what caught my attention. From Walmart was a skirt. Yes. Skirts. I, I like skirts with like pants, like um, what you call it? Skirts that are long, right? But short skirts, sometimes I'm like, mm, am I too old for that or whatever? I don't know, but this way too old for it we brought it home we picked it up it was $12.98 and it is speaking to me with these little star studs on it yep I got it in a size 13 because I always think about waist and stretch and so it does have a little stretch which is good give me room and the way I was thinking of wearing this skirt is get one of my oversized white sweaters put this on and some thigh high boots amen got some t-shirts for five dollars and i was like oh vibrant usually the t-shirts that i'm wearing are not the best um and so i picked these two up from there from walmart so they were five bucks i picked up extra large because i wanted them to kind of fit like loose fit so i went with extra large which is a six a 15 16. this one says main character energy that's what this t-shirt says five bucks and it will be more I can wear it with any of the skirts and then this one this one has a little dirty because it fell on the floor so we'll wash it and get it together 
moon, snake, skull, crystal, moth, and cat. So this one is kind of cute. Um, it's called, it's a wound up. Yeah, this one was really cute. And I feel like this would go so good. Like if I take this, like, you know, and like tie it at the front and knot it. Perfect. Perfect to jump into the TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Burlington Coat Factory section. This is going to be a long one because I said it was a collective haul. And so, here we go. So, this is from TJ Maxx. Yes, denim. Get in the program. Denim is not going anywhere. So if you can find different types of denim, different looks, different structure denim, it will pop in. You could casual it up. You can, um, you know, dress it up, dress it down. It denim is here to stay. I picked this up for twenty four ninety nine. What caught my eye again? The color, first and foremost, and then the structured pockets. Look at that. That's what caught my eye. And then down at the bottom, I thought, you know, like sometimes when you have like a, a little string here and you could pull it in, I thought that's what had was at the bottom of it, but that's not what was at the bottom of it. But it gives that look and I was like, I could wear this as a regular shirt with pants or jeans. I love when they put a dart in the middle in the back so that's a dart so they put a dart there and gave it that structure look and I love this I also picked up some yellow this was $16.99 I can wear this casually or I can wear this to work put the jeans on because my idea was to get this and maybe one of the denim jeans I picked up and I can wear this to work um, or even to like date night, like a, just a movie night or something like that where it's not too heavy, but it's still giving me like spring vibe. I love the color. I love the yellow. It's great on my skin. So we got this. Now I went to, when I went in Marshalls, I picked up this jacket. Let me tell you something. This jacket, I saw, I went to two Marshalls. Well, it was in TJ Maxx at first, but in TJ Maxx, they only had the small. And so yesterday when I went to Marshall's, I saw it and I got it in the medium. It was for $39.99 and it's spring and it has the string so you can like cinch the waist. I just want you to look at the pattern of this one. Like, look, like, look at that. Look at the sleeves. The sleeves has that look. Um, yeah, Bagatelle. I have a lot of Bagatelle um, prop, uh, purchases, like coats, all that stuff. I think I have another Bagatelle to show you guys, but love, 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 love this. So, yeah, that is a must. Two pieces. I'm not a two-piece girl, but... Two piece and a biscuit? Shit, why not? <laughs> um, this set is a skirt and a shirt to go with it. And this was actually, I think the way it's, there we go. Let's put it that way so you get to see the shirt. It's a set. It's by Olive and Oak and it was $29.99. Love this. I love the skirt. The skirt is just right up my alley. It falls right to my ankles. So I can wear this out with a nice tall boot. Perfect for spring. Um, and it could be worn now as well. I picked it up in a medium because it has good stretch to it. So I was like, let me get it in a medium. I don't want to do a small. I want to feel comfortable when I wear it. A few weeks ago and I wore it out to date night um, I got this from Burlington Coat Factory we're gonna jump now the last pieces are from Burlington Coat Factory and then we will wrap up the haul <laughs> so this jacket I saw this at Burlington I got this for $25 or less than $25 I can't remember but I've worn this out for date night and it is like a copperish greenish goldish um 
jacket. So good. It's faux leather. It has this little design at the front of the neck, the collar. And um, yeah, she is, she's given. She's perfectly made, perfectly structured. Love it. I, like I told you, I'm into the structured denim, our structured look. She has a pocket here with a button. She has a zipper pocket, zipper here. Um, chef's kiss. Love it. I picked it up in an extra large, oversized, because I wanted the oversized look. I'll pop the picture up so you guys get to see what this is given when I style it. More denim, but softer. So this is a little denim shirt I picked up at Burlington. It was $10.99. And um, it's just a little, you know, cute denim, soft denim at that. So it's not heavy. I picked it up in a large because sometimes with my arms, I got to think about the stretch. Because some of these um, low cost, like fast fashion, sometimes aren't really structured properly or fits good. So, but this I thought was cute and it was worth the $10.99 so do not sleep on Coat Burlington Coat Factory. I wanted to pop a little oomph in there so I walked by and saw this. Yep, it's a sweater, gray sweater with some pearls and I was like oh this would be so perfect if I don't want to wear any kind of necklace and stuff. I have the pearls. It's $12.99. I can dress this up or dress this down. I can actually put this on with a jean, some boots, and give that vibe and find some pearl earrings to kind of pop it off. And what I like is that the pearls are like all the way around the neckline. So this was a must. And the brand is called Cliché. So $12.99. Can't go wrong with it. Now, shorts. We did the skirt and we're gonna look at shorts. These are the same short but different color. I got it in a black and then I got it in a brown. They're faux leather shorts and they have that um, bunch to top there. These were $9.99 from Burlington Coat Factory. Um, I say go in there if you're looking for things like this, like pleather. I wouldn't spend more than $25, $30 on pleather because pleather is not, it's not real leather. So you can, you know, be affordable in your pleather choices. You can get it from Amazon. You can go to Burlington Coat Factory. These with some tall boots, a nice top and a jacket, chef's kiss. So, yep, I picked it up. Love it. Love it. So I'll, I'll pop the picture up so you get to see how I style these. Then last but not least, I found this. I think it's a snow pants, but um, I didn't give a damn. I don't have anything like it, and so I was like, I'm going to get it. And it was $12.99, and guess what? It is made by Levi Strauss. Yeah, y'all young ones don't know Strauss, but yeah, Levi Strauss is the name, the original name of it. Um, now it's just Levi. I want to say the original price for this is probably like real expensive, but um, it's a size 31, which is kind of like a 10 or, or something like that. And it's two pieces. It The color is what caught my eye. It looks like a snow pants, but I could wear it like streetwear. Um, and so here underneath it, let me show you, I didn't take it off, but I will take one of the legs off so you get to see, look, it comes off and then it turns into shorts. How cute is that? So I got two for one. I can rock it as a short in the summertime and I can rock it in the spring as the long streetwear pants which I intend to do, so yeah. This is it for the haul, yeah. I hope you guys um, enjoyed this little collective haul that I did. Um, this is the beginning, this is not the final pieces. I'm sure that going forward, um, as the months warm up and things get like, um, you know, spring starts to like move into summer, 
I will be bringing you more styles of things that I'm interested in and what I'm doing in my wardrobe. I think I've come a long way from the clothes I was buying before and I was very strategic when I started picking out these things because I think they are all on trend especially with all the denim in here, but I can get multiple wear out of them and multiple uses. I can mix match the clothes and I can do some things. I can casual them up or I can high end them up as far as like going, you know, I work in corporate America. So I want to find things that I can not just have it for just going out and don't really have anywhere to go. So I can utilize all of this rack to go to the office and give looks yes so thank you so much for watching and i will see you back here on the next one bye guys